While Ferns perfected her forest hunting skills, her cousin, Capo, a Cape Cobra, lives in a slightly different neighborhood. It's a beat Fern couldn't survive in. Scorching heat, little shelter, and unusual prey options means Capos had to develop a special set of skills and a totally different modus operandi to remain down of the desert. His stronghold stretches across the arid southwestern region of Africa, one of the harshest environments on Earth. The vast dry expanses of uninhabited wilderness shape the behavior patterns of all the creatures that have adapted to live here. But Capo and his crew of day hunters are tough. They'll do anything to survive. There's very little food to be found here, so Capo isn't picky. He'll eat whatever he can catch, or even scavenge on carrion. But that means he's sometimes on the menu too. For Capo, the Cape Cobra, the stark landscape of his territory is mostly devoid of escape routes when faced with an enemy. Sometimes his tough guy attitude, wits and cunning are his only defense. Yellow mongoose share the daytime beat with Cape Cobras, and this is where it gets complicated. They're little, cute, and deadly. These two aren't just rivals competing for the same prey. They're mortal enemies. Sharp canine teeth and lightning speed make the mongoose a formidable foe. Given half the chance, she won't hesitate to make a meal of Capo. But rearing with his hood spread, Capo strikes a terrifying figure and it does the trick. The mongoose backs down. Living in such a harsh hood, with such a tough crowd for neighbors, can really bring out one's bad side. Learning to stand his ground has earned Capo a rep for being edgy and aggressive. No self-respecting tough guy would go anywhere unarmed. Cape Cobras are equipped with one of the deadliest venoms in Africa. Drop for drop, the syrupy toxic cocktail is more potent than any other true cobra in Africa. Only a pinprick amount can kill a man in minutes. <laughs> 